So I'm here with Festus Gilligan. He's a member of the uh, Centralia Community College baseball team. So the first question I have for you, you know, it's an alumni game, so you can see guys coming back to play and represent the college. Now, what's it like to see these guys out here and uh, kind of have fun with them? It's really exciting and it's really fun to watch them do their thing and come back and be able to enjoy uh, enjoy the program that they once played for. It's uh, it makes you look forward to possibly coming back in, in my future and possibly playing in this game too. Yeah, you know, for those guys, you know, they're out here seeing a, a brand new uh, coaching staff, brand new mentality. So what's it like, you know, this year having, you know, Coach Atkinson, brand new first year head coach, and kind of seeing the changes he's making? It's been really good so far. Uh, I had the pleasure of playing under Coach Atkinson a few years before this, and and he's uh, he's one of a kind. I've never met any coach like him. He's he's really on top of his stuff, really organized, and he's all for the players. He's ready to get them to the next level. Yeah, and you can see even before the game, he's you know he's a younger coach and he's high energy. And what's like to have that uh, that kind of guy you know run around with you and you know he gets on you guys, but at the same time he's there to, to really motivate you guys. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you see your coach and he's super ecstatic about uh, just going to practice every single day, it gets you into it as well. And and you want to be out there with him. You want to be getting better with him every single day. And and yeah, Cody Cody definitely brings that to the yard. You know, then out here it's it's fall ball, so you know games don't count. But at the same time, you know it does count for for position and for for next spring. So what are things you're working on, trying to focus on, uh, getting ready for the spring? I'm just working every single day about uh, tuning tuning my swing up and and getting uh, all the footwork and movements down on defense as well. Just focusing day by day, getting every better, uh, getting better every single day. No, and then, uh, you know, to get here at this level, it's not by accident. You have to work pretty hard and, and really work on your skill, but you also need people who kind of motivate you. Who in your life has been that, that inspiration, that motivator to get you this far? Probably my older brother. Uh, my older brother played at Pierce College for a few years, and, and if he didn't go the junior college route, I don't think I would have either. Um, so I'm definitely glad that I had a, an older brother to, to follow. Yeah, and then also for a lot of players as they're growing up, they'll see uh, Major League Baseball players that they'll want to mimic and kind of copy. Is there a, a Major League Baseball player that you kind of saw and were thinking, you know, I, I like that guy's style or his approach and kind of want to be like that? Uh, honestly, being somebody who's not super tall, just anybody who who is not very big and plays the game hard, uh, Dustin Pedroia, Jose Altuve come to mind, just guys who are sort of like Marcus Stroman, uh, HDMH, height doesn't measure heart. Um, just guys like that who don't let the, their size and height affect how they play. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, obviously, we just saw Pedroia the other day working on some of his teammates, just trying to work on their defensive skills and helping them out. So every little thing he does is, you know, all about the team. And uh, you know, f for you, obviously, you know, there is a change here, mindset here, and is, has the team atmosphere changed as well? Uh, I wasn't here last year, so I. I'm not exactly sure, but um, the atmosphere so far has been excellent. We've all we've all shown up to the yard, ready to go every day, and ready to get better, and that's what we've done. Uh, the last question I have for you, you know, you know, you obviously see a lot of kids running around the ballparks all the time. What advice do you have for them as they're trying to to make it to this level and kind of play where you're playing? Uh, just to believe in yourself. You know, this is a game of failure. You're gonna a great hitter goes three for ten. That's a that's a great hitter at the major league level. So, it's a game of failure. Don't don't be upset when you fail. Don't be upset when you get out. Just move forward to the next at bat and keep believing in yourself. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.